Good evening all of you. So today we'll be dealing with the topic graphical representation of motion. So how to represent the motion in a graph? So what is a graph? A graph is a pictorial representation of the relation between two sets of data. So basically you have two sets of data. It can be anything. So out of these two sets, one of the sets, one of the set of data is dependent. That means it depends on something else. Whereas the other set of data is independent. So basically a graph is a pictorial representation of the relation between two sets of data. Next. So we will come across two types of graphs when we are dealing with motion. That is the first one is displacement time graph. So plotting displacement which is a dependent set of data on y axis and time on x axis is displacement time graph. Here time is independent. Okay. The second type of graph is velocity time graph. In velocity time graph velocity is plotted on the y axis and it is a dependent variable and time is plotted on the x axis which is again independent. So here is an example for displacement time graph. We have displacement on the y axis and time on the x axis. We have different displacements at different intervals of time. So we plot the graph. We have got a linear graph here and this is one more example of a displacement time graph which is not linear. Initially it is linear then again it decreases and it becomes non-linear. So these are the two types of two different types of displacement time graph. One is linear another one is non-linear. So this is also one more type of displacement time graph. Can anyone tell which type of motion this graph represents? Anybody has any idea which type of motion does this graph represent? This graph represents to and fro motion. So with respect to time, your displacement is positive, maximum positive at one point of time and then it reaches negative maximum and again positive maximum, negative maximum. So it's like a to and fro motion moving up and down. Positive, negative, positive, zero, negative. So that is a displacement time graph for a to and fro motion. So coming to velocity time graph. So here is a velocity time graph which in which there is velocity on the y axis which is a dependent variable and time on the x axis. So this is basically a linear velocity time graph and you can say the acceleration is constant along the line. So next. So one more representation of velocity time graph. So you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, the magnitude of velocities and these are time in seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So starting from 0, my body is at initial position at time 0. So as it moves in 1 seconds, it, it, it is moving at a velocity of 10 meter per second. At the second second it has increased its velocity and it is moving at 20 meter per second. At time 3 seconds it moves at 30 meter per second. So velocity is increasing linearly. Hence your acceleration remains constant. 